All right, guys, what you're seeing is an actual uh, screen capture of the game that um, uh, Frenzy has made on Blowout. Um, the Frenzy on Blowout Carts. So um, it's pretty cool. Um, you'd probably be uh, pretty familiar with it if you played some RPGs. You can see this. The background is uh, Final Fantasy, right? Isn't that Final Fantasy VII? But... Uh, it's cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I absolutely, I'm in love with it. But wait till you see. Um, Blowout Tales, Quest for the Super Fractor, right? Your mouse is no good. Um, so, uh, new game. New game. All right, now you probably recognize, well, not this part. Uh, rating pending. Designed and produced by the Frenzy. In association with the members of Blowout Forums. Blowout Tales, Quest for the Super Fractor. I hope you don't mind my voiceover. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, I could not do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so anyway, I was showing this to my... I was showing this to my godson, and he said that it's actually... Um, the beginning is the exact same thing as a Pokemon game. <laughs> but, uh, good morning. It's time to wake up, sleepyhead. You've got a visitor here to see you. Some strange man. I think he might be homeless. <laughs> he said something about trading cards and the end of the world as we know it. But all that jive is going to have to wait until you've gotten dressed and had your breakfast. Hurry downstairs. Alright. So she leaves and you're up. And of course you explore, you know, you click enter and you open the chest to find a hundred dollars PayPal. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, and then you grab your penny sleeve shield. Uh, there's nothing in this drawer except a few 1990 scorecards. In other words, there's nothing, there's nothing in the drawer. You can't pick up the pickaxe yet. Uh, this is a pickaxe. You are too young to use a pickaxe. Uh, you grab your sports card album. It's only got one card in it, a base card of your favorite player. Maybe someday you'll be able to complete complete the rainbow, maybe. And then uh, you grab your uh, thrift store jersey. And then there's a letter. It's a letter from Clarka A, Clarka 3, sorry. I know it must be strange to find a letter in your room from a complete stranger, but today will likely be a very strange day for you. If you look around at your card collection, you will see that you are a casual collector. Now, there is nothing wrong with that, but the day will come when you'll need to decide which sport to collect. And that decision will have major consequences on your development as a person. Did you know that collecting basketball cards <laughs> will increase your agility but decrease your intelligence? <laughs> Whereas if you collect baseball, your strength may decrease, but your intelligence will be through the roof. It's a scientific fact. P.S. Your floor is really cold at night. You need to buy more rugs. Alright, and then this is my favorite thing. The potatoes. It's a sack of potatoes. Because you are poor. <laughs> Tell me that's not awesome. Let me bring up the chat room. I don't know if you guys are watching this or not. <laughs> okay. Um. So anyway, there's a dog. He's psychic. I may just be the family pet, but I know enough to remind you to equip your clothes. When you get tired or low on PC, you should stop and rest, either in your bed or at a hotel. Also, the world is a dangerous place you should save often. Which is true, because I've completely lost my game by not saving, because I'm an idiot. Um, no one wants to hear your cover of Don't Stop Believing. Um, you can hit the zero button to bring this screen up, or exit. But um, this is your bucket. Um, your skills, your equipment, which is what I'm going to use right now. Um, I have a shield. I'm going to put that on my penny sleeve shield. I don't have a helmet. Um, but I do have armor, my thrift store jersey. And I don't have an accessory yet, I don't think. Yeah. 
Okay. So, um... But you can save right here, which I've never done, so I'm gonna save. File one, I just saved. Alright, so I'm out. Um, this is where your coffee is. It says you drink your breakfast of coffee. And then you get some knives. Um, those were automatically equipped for me, so I'm sure you don't have to equip them. Uh, you talk to the chick, your mom or whatever. And she keeps moving when I'm trying to... Come here, damn it. Okay. Uh, now that your tummy's full, go have fun saving the world or whatever. And then... Um, I don't think there's anything in here if I remember. Yeah. Uh, the potatoes thing again. More poor people potatoes. <laughs> You burn yourself if you touch the stove. I'm not going to do it. I die fast enough without it. Um, your mother calls these vegetables, but they're really just weeds. Alright, and here's where you talk to uh, the, uh, the old man. He says, uh, possibly homeless man. Good morning, Connor. Did you just wake up? Never mind. The fate of the world is at stake and we haven't much time. Who am I, you ask? I once had a name, so very long ago. But all of that has vanished into the void of the past. Now I am called the Frenzy. As I was saying before I interrupted myself, Boda needs you. <laughs> who is Boda? No, no. Boda is a what, not a who. Boda is the blowout detective agency, an organization of the greatest sleuthing minds of the world. <laughs> And despite the fact that they are all adults and are and you are just a child, they believe that you must go on this incredibly dangerous quest. A great evil has cast its shadow upon the world. Let me turn down this music. A great shadow has cast itself on the world and held hostage um, upon the world of collecting auctions are being shilled blah 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 you do not you do collect cards don't you now I collect baseball cards so that's actually what I was gonna use um, but there's football basketball and hockey I'm gonna stick with baseball I think football probably makes you stronger I don't know what hockey does but I'm gonna go with baseball yes yes of course you do um, well then you can certainly understand the urgency here Boda believes that a single individual is behind all of this. With your innocent appearance, we believe that uh, you stand the best chance in obtaining the clues needed to expose this mastermind to the authorities. Plus, you are small, which could come in handy if you need to crawl through an air vent or an exhaust pipe or something. Connor, all that we have and hold dear is in your hands. If you accept this mission, step through your front gate. You will travel into the nearest town there a Boda agent will meet you and inform you of your next move. If you choose not to, I understand, you can go back inside and enjoy being poor. Maybe eat a potato or something. I must be going now. I've talked to you too long already. And then, then he disappears. And then, of course, you can check out like all the different stuff. Um, like the well. The well cracks me up. Um, the well says, an open well. Perfectly safe for families with small children. Um, but, uh, you know, just like in the original, you know, in, in these type of games, no mail today, as usual, <laughs> you know, if you go to like the far corners, you usually find something, um, all right, I wanted to show you, and of course there isn't one where I was going, if you go over here, maybe it's up here, I know there was one, I remember seeing it, no, not here. If you go over here, check <laughs> Haiku Jr. Hey, dork. I'm sorry you can't come inside. My dad says poor people are too dirty. Also, I'm not really sorry. But if you could come in, I'd show you my awesome collection. I've got all kinds of rare cards. My dad buys them for me. <laughs> and then the Scarecrow. I'm not sure why this family even needs a Scarecrow. I think they only bought me as a status symbol. Sigh. <laughs> Now I know how Haiku's wife feels. And then, uh, you know, you can go over here and there's a chest. You open the chest to find Beats Headphones. <laughs> no, tell me that's not funny. <laughs> Beat 
headphones. <laughs> of course, you know, you gotta you gotta know the backstory, obviously, for that to be funny, but I thought it was really funny. Uh, chest to find, two times popcorn, which I think helps your mojo, or I don't remember, something like that. So we go through the gate. Um, this is where you can have some battles. Uh, I got three times mint condition. That's pretty good. So here's my first battle. I'm going to go ahead and fight. And I'm going to attack. Kid Pack Searcher. <laughs> Alright. Ow. That's enough. Fight again. Kid Pack Searcher. Waka. All right, so he's dead. Oh, they missed. All right, I'm going to fight. This time I'm going to use a skill, though. I'm going to use a Sidewinder. I don't really know what it is, but... Bam! Haha, <laughs> I killed him. I killed him with Sidewinder. Woo! So I got 20 Eye Trader, 20 PayPal, and 2 Base Cards. <laughs> I just... It just cracks me up, man. This game just, I laugh uh, all the time. He's got some really funny stuff in here. All right, so this is a, uh, a professional pack searcher. He doesn't have a blow dryer that I can see, but um, I still think it's pretty funny. All right, I'm going to use Sidewinder again. So it's from my mojo. I lose my mojo when I use Sidewinder, which I'm sure that goes up. So I got 20 I Trader and 15 PayPal. And if you know, you go around, you you can find like um, chests and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and fight these guys, but they're they might whoop me here. I'm gonna use Sidewinder to get rid of the big guy because he's pretty tough all right and then I'll just fight these two guys regular I should be able to handle them regular Woo critical hit So I vanquished him. I got an event worn card. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> I think you can sell the stuff. But anyway, if you look around, you can find like chests in the woods and stuff like that. But I don't want to take forever, you know, on the game. So I'm just going to go through it here. So I won that one. Like for instance, you see over here, you see how you can go up here. There's probably like a chest or something up here. Yeah, see the box? I got an autograph card, woohoo! Oh no, no, that's a lot of people. I'm gonna go ahead and escape. Uh, they probably would have killed me. There were three of them. If there were just two, I'd have fought. But until I can rest at like an inn or something. I... Okay, I'm going to fight this dude. There's just one. Haha, <laughs> I wasted him with one hit. Shucker! Alright, so here's the first town. This is as far as I'm going to take you. Um, like, I'll, I'll walk through the town with you and then... And then that's it. That's your sneak peek. But, um... War Evangelist. <laughs> Are you down with OBP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Blow Out Cardboard Capital of the World. So that's all that dude says. And I usually like to check the corners real quick. You can see there's somebody over here. Sid the Kid. 
Hey kid, want to learn how to trim cards? I'm really good. I've gotten my cards by several top grading services. <laughs> and then here's Seeking. Who puts a girl on the cul-de-sac? Ron Labo has always been a little difficult to work for, but I'm sure things will get better someday. And then you got the guy laying on the ground, and it says, I bought five cases and only made 15% of my money back. Just leave me here to die. <laughs> and here's, uh, I had the entire rainbow except for the one of one, but now J-Rock has it and I'll never see it again. <laughs> War Evangelist, I already talked to him. Um, Aggies, 1960. Howdy there, partner. Looks like you're about to enter the blowout buy-sell trade. Inside there, you can buy just about anything you need from weapons and armor to packs and hobby boxes. A word of advice, you can pull more valuable cards from hobby boxes than from regular packs. Not only that, but you can turn right around and sell the cards you pull back to the owner. Though you're probably going to lose money most of the time. So, what you do is you go in here and you can buy, right? I'll leave that up to you guys, but look, weightlifters in here. I'm not going to tell you what he says. You're just going to have to wait. And uh, Clark is back. It's really quite scientific. And then uh, Boda Agent. Right? That's that's who you got to talk to. So um, he tells you where to do it. Right? And then these three people are selling. This guy's pretty cool, though. Look. Oh, already. <laughs> what can I get for you? And then you can buy, you know, a pack of cards. A blaster box or a hobby box all right let's buy a hobby box all right we're gonna buy one all right now we're gonna exit all right I want to open it I haven't actually done this before happy busting so let's see um, how I can do this No. All right. Hey, I got Beats headphones. <laughs> they sound great, and they were free. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's not in my bucket. Maybe in my equipment. A licensed helmet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to find my my box of cards at. Whoops! I hit restore on accident. I mean, I bought it, but I don't know. Oh wait, there it was. It was in my bucket. Hobby box. Okay. You rip open the box. You pulled one multi-autograph card. Hey, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, I knew it was in there. Shady Merchant. Hey, kid, you want to buy some hot packs? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sell with integrity. Then here's uh, Tarjetas Baseball. Fear not, my tongue is sharper than my claws. John Meat. <laughs> hey, do you have any DeMarcus Ware cards? Have you heard anything about an organization called Boda? I'd really like to find out more about them for no particular reason at all. I'm really just genuinely curious. And then there is Nice. You look like the adventuring type. If you need any help along the way, let me know. All right, so that's that's the uh, buy sell trade area. This down here is the inn, right? You can go in the inn and rest in the bed. Um, this is Ron Labo. They. <laughs> That box took my corner, but it's no problem. I've got a corner in every city. Here's what he means. Hot box. Diss my corner. <laughs> Sun's fan. Sunlight tickles my skin. And then you can check uh, mailbox stuff full of cards. You wonder how this person can afford so many. <laughs> it's Bledsoe. Welcome to my house. He says he don't want you on his bed. 
And then uh, a lot of Drew Bledsoe. A lot of Drew Bledsoe. And then here's some wheat on the table. Couldn't hurt to take a free sample. You grab some mints. <laughs> okay. Let's find some more people before we leave here. Clark and Lewis. He wants 20 rookie cards. And then this is Stripe Bass. He wants original sketch cards. These doors, I think these doors are all locked. I had to wait for him to get out of the way. Oh, one of these has a chest somewhere. There it is. I can't get around him. He's in the way. All right. There he goes. I still can't get around him. Come on. No, you're going the wrong way. I don't know if I can go around the house or not. Yeah, okay. I guess not. I can't get around the house. Oh, yeah, he left. This is Clark A again. He says you see a bunch of people in different places is all. Door's locked. Here's another chest. Fire sale. <laughs> And then another uh, mailbox. Someone's got a nice mail day. I love fish. This used to be such a quiet neighborhood. Now I spend my days just keeping an eye on everyone. Nodi27, you tell Ron Labo you seen me working. You tell him I wasn't just standing here. <laughs> you open the chest to find two blaster boxes. Let's open the blaster boxes. Let's see what we got. In our bucket. Um, No, back in our bucket. You rip open the blaster. You pulled four rookie cards. All right, let's do it again. Oh, I guess that's all I had, okay. Oh no, here's another, here it is. You rip open the blaster. You pulled one game use card, woohoo! Those are pretty good blaster boxes. And then here is the, a single white envelope, so that lets me know this is the, the door I need. To enter, answer one question. Which is better, Topps Chrome or Panini Prism? I said Topps Chrome. Come in. <laughs> All right, so uh, here's True N.E. And he says, I'm the Boda Gatekeeper. Good luck on your journey. And then Boda Agent, evil is afoot. Mysterious entity known as E.E. -E. <laughs> Our sources tell us that E.E. -E is hiding at the Palace of Panini. Go down to the basement. There is a tunnel there leading out of the city. The tunnel will lead you to Sage Meadows. Travel through Sage Meadows and you will reach the Palace of Panini. Once you arrive, hang around the local buy-sell trade area and see what you can find. Good luck. The blowout detective agency and the world of collecting are counting on you. Alright, so I do that. I go down there. And now I'm in the dungeon. And I got a battle. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fight him. Because, you know... They're customer service reps. How funny is that? Ow, they hit me with ice. Ow. Ow. Okay. They almost killed me. So I'm going to go ahead and escape. <laughs> oh, no. He hit me anyway. I escaped. No. <laughs> so anyway, that's as far as I was going to show you. I was just going to go through the tunnel. So as you can see, I should have saved, and I didn't. So I got killed. But that, guys, is the quest for the Super Fractor. Make sure you save, because <laughs> if you don't save, you're going to get killed, and then you got to do it all over again. I've got to go back to that save point. So anyway, there's a, there's a video of the game, and it's got all kinds of levels, and it's really, really, really funny. But um, anyway, there it is. So let me save.